As I was uh, sitting in my office this morning, I do like to have my sermons ahead. And there was a few things that came up during the week that wasn't really possible. And so in the office this morning, I, I prayed. And I'm going to be very, very frank here. You know, Christians, when you pray, don't stop praying until you have reached what you want to give to the Lord. This morning, had an attack of the enemy. And I said to the Lord, God, I need your strength. I need to know that you are going to be with us in the church service this morning. And as I sat there, I'm not one to cry too much, but the tears came. And Christians, I really felt the presence of the Almighty God in the office. <clears throat> And we know that all things work together for good to those that love the Lord who are called according to his purpose. One of the things that I do love to hear, I love to hear testimonies. There's just something about testimonies. And here we are. We have testimonies this morning. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 8 and if Christ be in you the body is dead because of sin but the spirit is life because of righteousness isn't it beautiful Christians that the enemy has no prevalence over God's children. And I'm going to pause here again. This is something that I normally don't do, is to go over a sermon that I have spoken on. And here is the situation. If God be in us, who can be against us. In other words, if God is in us, the enemy has no power over the child of God. And therefore, as I sat, I was sitting in my chair, and the tears came. You know, Christians, there was so much love when I was reading this morning. There's so much love that comes down from heaven. And he put within us the power of living to and with the Lord. It is so remarkable. And so therefore, the spirit that dwells within you Every person that names the name of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit is dwelling within us. Amen. Think of it, Christians. We walk not alone. And I have to be honest with you again, this is something that I wasn't planning on, but the Lord was. And so therefore, if we be in Christ, we can conquer all things which the enemy tries to get within our hearts and to destroy what God has given you and I. Therefore, we worship him in spirit and in truth. So when the spirit of God dwells within us, and I love this, the enemy, and I'll say it again, the enemy has no power over us. None. Oh, there are 
times where you get upset, we get discouraged, but basically speaking, God said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Therefore, we have already won the battle. Isn't that beautiful? We have won the battle. And therefore, we can give God praise, honor, and glory because he is so, so wonderful to us. Verse 28. And we know that all things are good to them that love God. That's, that's where that's, that scripture verse is. To them who are called according to his purpose. I'm just going to have a little lull here before. Have you been called by Jesus Christ or by the Holy Spirit? Have you been called to minister to someone? Have you? This will give you just a little moment. And then we'll ask you to bow your head and no one looking around. Please. God has called some of us to a calling. But because of the fact that we are not accustomed to this, I, I'm using myself, not accustomed to this, it's difficult to really believe that God really wants to work with us. Would you raise your hand and put it back down again, please? God bless you. The Lord bless you. Anyone else? Father in heaven, you saw the hands that were raised this morning, and I pray that your Holy Spirit would minister to them. What they are going through, you know. You know their heart's desire. And therefore, Heavenly Father, we give you praise and worship and honor, because you alone are able to bring us out of the doldrum, so to speak. We have power from the Holy Spirit who is able to give us the strength and the power that is needed. In Christ's name, amen. Excuse me. As I was sitting in my office, this would happen. Was here early, early this morning, and as I sat in my office, I just was very, very quiet, very quiet indeed. And the presence of God was in the office, in so much that I sat there. And I just began to praise the Lord for his goodness and for his power and for his love. This is why, Christians, we need to make sure that our hearts are open unto the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is in us. Again, we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So therefore... I am going to just go over a wee bit more. In verse 37, in verse 37 of the same chapter. Verse 35, sorry. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or so. As it is written, for thy sake we were killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. No, in all things we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We're more than conquerors, Christians. We have the power to really get rid of him. And he'll come back. And back. And back. And we will fight 
him. Why? Is because he's out to destroy the children of God. And God is not going to let him do it. The power of God is upon us. He quickens us. We have the encouragement. Do not be discouraged. For I am your God. And therefore, we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ our Lord. Once again, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Why did I do it again? Why did I go into this? When I was in the office, I said to the Lord, God, would you help me? And would you give me the strength? And as I was praying, I just stopped praying. And Christians, it was so sweet in there. It was peaceful. There was no more apprehension. And I challenge every one of us this morning. Remember, Jesus loves you. Remember, he died on the cross to set us free. Therefore, we have the power to defeat the enemy. That was three times now. Defeat the enemy. And Christians, I really want this to really sink in now. Whatever you do, when the enemy comes, because he will come, he really will. But what takes place is this. It's that it is the power, the honor, and the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is our God. Just going to give you another five minutes. When the Lord showed me what to, what to speak, I have to be honest with you, Christians. I just sat there and I said, okay, God, if this is what you want, I'll do it. And when I started to read the Word of God, it just hit me. It really gave me strength. And as our life goes on and on and on, every day, and once again, I really want to stress this, every day the Spirit of God comes and gives us the strength. Excuse me for that, please. <clears throat> when, excuse me. As we sit here this morning, you heard the word. I don't know why the word, why God asked me to speak on this portion of scripture. All I know, he told me to do it. So what I want to share with, with you is remember Christians, number one, you are not alone. And number two, you are conquerors over the powers of darkness. And thirdly, you're praying for a loved one. Do not stop praying. Do not. And in doing so, you will find that God is right with you. And this one person said to me, 
I really didn't think that my husband would ever give his heart to the Lord. And she said, there were times where I wanted just to run. But, he, but she said, the Holy Spirit kept on urging me, do not faint. For lo, I am with you always. And Christian, that dear soul, she was so happy and so, I might use the word, so forward in thanking God because she said, I am going home. And when I go home, he always would have something against me about going to the church. She says, this one day I went in, I have to give my heart to the Lord, I went in, and he was sitting where he normally sits, right at the door. And he had tears coming down his eyes. And he said this, you were right. There is a God. And you want to know something, dear? I gave my heart to Jesus. I just said, Jesus, come into my heart. And that was it. And I want to encourage each and every one of you, including myself, do not become discouraged. If you have an unsafe son, daughter, wife, or husband, or a relative, do not become discouraged. Because the Lion of Judah, God himself, will break through and he will give you your heart's desire. This is our God. In closing, I don't know if it's, if it's dry down there, but certainly dry up here. Excuse me. <clears throat> We all have, most of us anyway, have unsafe loved ones. And I believe it was last week I mentioned it this way before. And that is, do not, if I can be direct, do not give your heart's desire. Do not allow the enemy to take it. And as long as we are bathed in the Spirit of God, the enemy cannot steal what God has given us. So therefore, we do this. I'm going to ask you to pray. My goodness. I'm going to ask you to bow your head. And we're just going to pray just very, very shortly. Sometimes we, we do we do struggle. We do. And so I'm going to ask the question. Are you struggling this morning? Would you raise your hand and put it back down? God bless you. Lord bless you. God bless you. Anyone else? God bless you. The Lord bless you. And God bless you. We're going to pray, Christians, for those that raise their hands. And let us believe together that all things are possible in and through the powerful name of Jesus. Father in heaven, you see the many hands that were raised this morning. Please forgive me because I thought that this was over. And what I mean by that, God, they had already raised their hand. 
but you directed me. Forgive me, my Father. And Lord, I ask that you, through your Holy Spirit, would strengthen those that raise their hands, strengthen them mightily. And when they reach home, may the presence and the order of the Holy Spirit be in their home. We know that you are coming soon. We know that. Help us to be ready. When we are called, we're all going up together. But in the meantime, Father, we pray for those that have unsaved loved ones, unsaved children, husbands or wives, aunts or uncles. God, move upon them very, very deeply that they may know that there truly is a God that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly of all that we ask of you in Christ's name.